Hey Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel brought to you by Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast. New episodes available the first Friday of every month. Uh, Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins came out this past Friday. I went and saw it in the theater and I wanted to wait until I had seen it to review these figures because that way, you know, without that movie, these are just like weirdly slightly more realistic looking figures in the classified series. I wanted the context of the characters and the movie uh, in order to really review them a little more fairly because this is just a weird Baroness without that movie. So now today we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe classified series number 19 and I gotta tell you, I'm not really a big fan of the fact that they're numbering these in sequence with the regular classified series releases because, to me, the more realistic sculpts uh, don't quite fit. So, I, I don't love that, but at the same time, I don't keep these things mint in box. It's not really a huge deal to me, but it just seems like an odd decision. Uh, but anyway... Like the Classified series, there's some unique art uh, on the side. I love this. The the style that they go with is just so cool on these. Uh, all the different artists that have provided their takes on these characters. Just cool art on the side. Uh, the packaging is the standard Classified packaging with the nice window that wraps around to the side. Uh, there you can see Baroness's specialties. Uh, she is big into keys, bullets, lightning, and... Uh, people with half a face. I, I, I don't know. You can look them up on GIJoe.com and find out what those actually are. Uh, and you can see the packaging is different in that the, it, uh, there's a theme of the movie uh, on here. where With the Arashikage symbol, uh, the dragon on the back. Like These are slightly different. And, of course, the movie uh, logo, the imprint on the front right here. But overall, same size packaging, fits in with your classified series. So if you dig that, then uh, great, super for you. Let's open this figure up now and take a look uh, at the Baroness or Anna de Cobre figure. I'm bust out my trusty 1964 box cutter, slice right through that tape. Uh, and I am not going to speak too much on how I felt about the movie because for that, you're going to have to tune into a special episode of Audible Interlude that releases the same day as this video. Uh, so if you're watching this video uh, the day it came out, tune in tonight to Audible Interlude to get our special review of Snake Eyes. Uh, and if you're watching any other time, then it's already up and you can find it wherever you find your podcasts. Ooh, that's nice. I like it when the suppressor is a a separate piece. I think that's cool. But at the same time, it makes one more thing that you could potentially lose. But I would imagine mostly these are going to people who have learned to keep pretty good track of their figures and accessories over the years. Oh my gosh, that doesn't want to come out. I love the fact that everything is secured in the tray without i almost forgot her glasses and i sat here before i sat down to do the video and i was like don't forget those little tiny glasses because i did that with uh one of the roadblock figures i think it was the cobra island one maybe that has sunglasses uh i totally forgot and had thrown the box aside and i haven't tossed any of the packaging for the classified series yet i have this giant stack of boxes uh well some of them are in one of the store displays and some of them are just stacked up uh, I, I've kept these boxes. I like the packaging design that much. All right, let's take a look at this figure. I, the fan, and as I said, I'm not going to give too much away about the movie. You'll have to listen to Audible Interlude to get our full review. Uh, but I liked Baroness in this movie. I feel like I can say that much. Set this aside here. Uh, great likeness of the actress... Ursula Corbera, I believe, is the pronunciation there. I apologize if it is not. I was not familiar with her before this movie, but I think she did a great job as Baroness. I liked the depiction of Baroness. Uh, you can see we've got the sort of standard classified art. Oh, look at that. Butterfly joint nicely concealed under 
that portion of that sort of shoulder pad of the costume. So I, at first I didn't even realize that was there. Very nice. Uh, but otherwise, pretty much the same articulation. Well, not otherwise, because they all have butterfly joints. But uh, same articulation as we've been seeing in the Classified series. I personally am fine with the single-jointed elbow. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. I do like when it's able to get just a little bit more than 90 degrees. And if it can get more than that, then that's great. I'm at a point where the double joints don't always look great to me. And I really want my figures to look good. Uh, the articulation is not, while it is important to me, it's not as important as nice aesthetics. Uh, we've got a cool variation in textures and glosses that I think looks really nice. They've done a great job with that throughout this line because, I mean, essentially, this is an all-black action figure, but we've got detail here like her shirt and like the uh, padding on her thighs that's in a, gl a gloss black. So it stands out and brings out some of the sculpted detail. Uh, likeness looks great. Oh, there we go. Likeness looks great. Uh, the hair looks great. This is exactly the hairstyle she had in the movie. They did a great job with it. Uh, and then on the back here, she has a holster, which is kind of weird, actually. So is that for the knives, I guess? Because she doesn't have a pistol. So I guess that's not a holster. That's a sheath that do both of them fit in there or just one well it looks like just one fits in there hmm i don't know how i feel about that i'd really like to be able to store both of those what is happening maybe i did this wrong maybe that's not even what that's for i don't know let's okay let's try something here Hope you guys have patience for... Oh, okay, so check out the uh, the knives, which I'm trying to remember right now if she even had knives in the movie. Uh, but they look great. Obviously, the sculpted cobra heads are awesome. Uh, the metallic paint, these are not all black like some other knives in this series have been. Uh, they look fantastic. So I wonder if it's like this kind of deal where one goes in one way... I want to figure out this knife situation, you guys. No, that's not going to work. That's also not going to work. That's bizarre that she comes with two, but the holster can only, or the sheath can only hold one. Uh, but anyway, moving along, got the awesome painted cobra symbol on her crossed belts. Uh, just uh, figure looks awesome. I'm actually a big fan of this cobra design. I think it's cool. Uh, I do not need a cobra design, baroness design. Uh, I do not need Baroness to necessarily have the long flowing black hair. I'm okay with this hairstyle because this is sort of, uh, it's the best live action Baroness we've got, but it's also a, a little different interpretation of Baroness. And I think that's fine. I'm trying to figure out what we've got going on at the waist here. Uh, and it might be, Okay, yeah, we've got a sort of a ball joint situation at the waist, not a cut joint, which is great. And now let's take a look. Oh, we got to get these glasses on her. Very tiny glasses, nice crisp detail, very translucent. They look good. And I would imagine they secure in just under her, her wig, as it were. You can just plug right in there. Uh, they look great. That's an awesome look. Kudos to Hasbro for making these teeny tiny little glasses, making them so crystal clear uh, with that tint. I mean, they, they look awesome. To look at the figure in pictures, you would not think that those glasses are removable. Now, is it necessary that they're removable? Eh, not really, but I think it's cool. I like it. Let's take a look at her submachine gun here. Lots of nice sculpted detail. Great job with that. Let's see if the clip is removable. And our suppressor plugs right into the front. Awesome. Looks great. And, uh, of course, this is something that hasn't been an issue with any classified figure yet. Uh, fits right into the hand for a perfect fit. Finger goes in the trigger. Well, finger... 
Uh, doesn't quite fit perfectly into the trigger guard, but that's okay. It still looks good. Still looks great. Like until you get super duper close up, you can't tell that it's a little awkward. Uh, I think it looks great. Very nice. So, oh wait, let's get that other knife slash sword slash machete, whatever you want to call it, into her other hand there, because I do, I mean, it would be nice if she had a place to stash that, but at least she does have, like, she can carry everything that she comes with. So I think that this figure looks great. See the movie, see what you think, see how you feel about this version of Baroness, uh, but most of all, tell your friends about Needless Things. Tell your friends about Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast. Like, subscribe, share, and Cobra. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.